pasta, macaroni and cheese vibes, but it, literally it looks worse than Adobe Illustrator. It looks like paint and you just go into paint and like draw a random picture of a dog and like, we don't have a new collection this week. What are we going to design? And they just designed this like, hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Thanks for clicking on my video today. I just want to say thank you so much to those who participated in my vlog sale. It was a huge success. And uh, yeah, a lot of you guys messaged me on Instagram, so I'm um, sorry if I was a bit late to the replies. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to ship my packages off on Monday. So happy that my bags are going to Loving Homes. And some of you guys mentioned that you fell in love with these bags when you saw them on my channel. So I'm so happy that you can have them. And you know, I will admit guys that now that I've let some things go, you know when you start selling stuff and you get into like a bit like, Maybe I should sell some more things. Well, I am like, I did have this thought, like, okay, now that I've sold some things, like, should I downsize more? So I'm thinking I should just wait a little bit. Maybe I might do another vlog sale later on in the year because I, I really got to think about it a little bit more and I don't want to like be very spontaneous like I used to be. When I used to sell things, I used to like sell like my whole collection and then start again. So yeah, I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to calm down, but yeah. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about this random Louis Vuitton collection that popped up on my feed yesterday. I came across an Instagram called LV underscore lovers six, and I thought this was like a joke, but I don't think it is a joke. So uh, let me know guys what you think of this, because for me, I thought it was like some sort of like jelly cat collab or <laughs> i don't know because it's like a duck on an on the go okay so this is called lv with animals wait actually i have no idea what this collection is called and i have no idea what the significance of it is so first bag is this on the go in reverse monogram with a black uh guitar strap and it has a little duck on the side, like with a little eyeball doing this. And don't get me wrong, guys, I love ducks. I think they are hilarious. Um, yes, I have I have like some duck sculptures in my um, place, and like I would love like a duck jelly cat. And but a duck Louis Vuitton. I mean, um, Living Luxe Meredith actually has a really cute duck Louis Vuitton bag. Like that is different. That is kind of like like a cool like collector's piece. But this is just like. Something about it is extremely silly, but in like a very confusing way. And I just don't know what the point of this is. However, I do think it's quite cute and it's almost so bad that it's good. You know what I mean? Like if you saw someone in real life wearing this, you'd be like, okay, that is actually hilarious. So on first impression, I thought it was a joke, but now I'm like, okay, actually this is pretty hilarious. Next bag is this little pochette. Which honestly looks like the pochette that you get inside the Neverfull, but I think it's a shoulder bag with a detachable strap. And it has, yeah, it just looks like a really, uh, like, poorly done illustrator illustration. You know when you're, like, new to Photoshop and, like, new to, like, if you're, like, doing a graphic design course and you're, like, playing around with Adobe Illustrator? I feel like this is, like, what you draw as, like, a beginner. It's just giving me that vibe. Like, it's not that like it looks a bit crap like <laughs> you know what I mean like it's just really Louis Vuitton it's like they got one of the interns to just mock something up anyways I don't yeah I don't know what these animals came from like I think the design team just may have come up with these random animals but they're yeah maybe it would have been more effective if it was like a legitimate collab maybe this is a collab guys like do you recognize these animals is it like some sort of cartoon that I don't know about but this little like cat tiger on the side is it a leopard i think it's a leopard because it has spots and you know guys i love cats as well but yeah it also kind of looks like something you get off etsy when you know you get these like hand painted uh like diy louis vuitton uh creations it's given me that as well so yeah and then yeah guys like don't you think the line drawing is just so it just looks so cheaply done. Like, it just looks like you got... You, literally, it looks worse than Adobe Illustrator. It looks like paint. And you just go into paint and, like, draw a random picture of a dog. And, like, then you just stick it on a Louis Vuitton bag. Like, really, Louis Vuitton? <laughs> Love this bag, though. This little trunk piece. It is adorable. It would cost a fortune, though, because it's a hard-sided piece. And they're definitely favouring the reverse monogram with this collection. I mean, it is cute. Like, I'll give it that. It's cute. It just looks, like, a bit silly um to say the least yeah guys like you have this very like cute little white bag and then they've stuck a penguin on the side is it a penguin or is it like a puffin 
I don't know. Or is it like a what is that? Is that a penguin? It's it's a it's a bird, anyways. And um, yeah, at least it's detachable. I suppose it's got this detachable like penguin point coin purse. I feel like it's a puffin. What's what is a puffin anyway? Are they extinct? Um, yeah. It's cute though. Look like look at this little eyeball. It's just like what what is this, guys? I don't know if this has got to do with the trend of like putting random plushies on your bag because I know that's definitely a trend like um oh I've been yesterday I wore my Orpin bag I'm actually loving it guys um it's actually made out of like a soft calf skin which I didn't realize um and it's really nice the inside is black as well I was gifted this from Orpon um not sponsored but anyways I like like pulling my little silly bag charms on it like this which I got from uh Tokyo Disney so I don't know if it's like that trend, like putting something really silly on your bag, like to contrast with like the designer in ishness of it to like make it less sophisticated. Maybe it's that. It's like you're getting a really classic Louis Vuitton print and then you're adding something completely random. I don't know if it's they're going for that vibe, but it just seems like odd. It's just very odd. And then you've got a bag, which is just the full leopard's head. What is going on here? Like... I don't know, guys. I honestly think that Louis Vuitton just had a week where they're like, oh my gosh, we don't have a new collection this week. What are we going to design? And they just designed this, like, in their lunch break because it looks very rushed. Guys, like, is this leather marquetry or something? Or is it just, I wonder if it's just printed on. It looks to me like it's just printed on the bag as well. Like, this is not some sort of, like, Loewe situation where they're doing the le leather marquetry. I mean, maybe it is, guys. Maybe I'm just, ju like, judging it, but... I'm speechless, and um, I saw on a emperor.lv2's Instagram, there's also going to be a cousin bag, and I don't know if it's part of this collection, but it's giving me the same, like, weird vibe. It's got this, like, really ugly orange chunky chain that looks like macaroni, and it's stuck on the cousin bag, and then the monogram is an orange. So, yeah, I don't know, this gives me, like, pasta, macaroni, and cheese vibes, but in a bad way, and I don't know if it's got to do, like... All these bags just don't look like the like are they being serious guys? Like what is this? I know I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but I'm so confused right now, guys, by this collection. Like what were they thinking? They okay, we have one more bag that I've just seen on Empho.lv's Instagram. It's a petit mal, a new petit mal in yellow with a puffy handle, and it just looks like SpongeBob vibes to me. It again it looks very cartoony. Uh, it's going a bit with that macaroni vibe, uh, looks like a piece of yellow cheese, and the handle is, like, very crinkly and puffy, and then it has this, like, bulbous look to it, especially on the sides, and it has contrast blue. Um, not my favourite, and then what's really confusing is that there's another new petit mal next to it in this very sophisticated black with a really cool chain. It's giving me, like, chrome hearts vibes, and then the hardware is, like, amazing. Like, this is cool. Like, honestly, this is a really badass petit mal, but I don't understand why it's in the same launch as this yellow SpongeBob one. Like, they're very... they're very random. Like, what is going on here, guys? Like... That's what I mean about Louis Vuitton, like, they're just so random with all their collections, like, there is no theme anymore, it's like, let's do cowboy, let's do surfer vibes, let's do Spongebob, let's do Dalmatians, let's do a duck, like, they're just doing everything, I think they're doing too much, guys, they're just, like, are they trolling us, because that's what it feels like, but anyway, in any case, I think it's so silly that I kind of like it, because how how stupid it is, but... Um, I would love to see it in real life and love to know if this is actually a real collection because if it is, they need some help, guys. <laughs> so anyways, let me know what you think of this collection, guys. Do you think it's adorable or do you think, are you just confused just like me? Um, let me know and yeah, thanks for watching my silly video today and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!